Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to you subscribers. A special thank you to you new viewers. You guys should become subscribers today. We're making a uh, Easter sunshine cake, or mandarin orange cake, however you want to call it. Jumping right into the bowl, I've got my dry ingredients. There's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and one and one-third cup of granulated sugar. <coughs> my trusty assistant over here is going to dump in one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Let's pour it right in there. Thanks. Half a cup of vegetable oil. Just pour that right in there. Thanks. Four eggs. Can you pour that in there? Excellent work. All right. Now, this is an 11, yeah, 10 and a half ounce mandarin orange can. So the oranges are going to go in. I'll put those in for us. And then out of that juice, I'm taking one third cup of the juice from the can. I'm going to pour that in. All right, that is everything that we're going to use to make our cake. You can disregard the leftover juice. And put it in the paddle on. Put this down. I'll lock it. Now, sir, if you would push this right up to here with me, right? Ready? Ready? Just there you go. That's good. That's good. All right, we're going to mix this until it combines, and then once it's combined, we'll come back and talk about what we got. This is what our batter looks like now, uh, fully combined. You can see the little speckles of the mandarin oranges in there, uh, and it's got, of course, the tint from the oranges. I've got some pre-buttered pans. I'm going to go with nine inches round on these. I'm just going to pour a little in each and see where we get. All right, so we ended up with two... Uh, cake pan's full, and I've preheated my oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. These are going to go in for 10 to 15 minutes. Use the old toothpick straight down the middle. If it comes up clean, you're done. So we'll see you in 10 to 15. Cakes are still in the oven. They've got a good 6-7 minutes to go. So let's talk about our frosting. This is 3.5 ounces of vanilla pudding slash pie filling mix. Uh, to that I'm adding 20 ounces of canned crushed pineapple and then I also have some cool whip here that I'm going to fold in after I mix this guy up and get everything thoroughly combined and my pie mix are, are good to go so I've got cool whip this is eight ounces and it, it's thawed it's not frozen And I'm just going to work this together to become our frosting. All right, so there you go. That's pretty much going to be the frosting. I'm going to put this in the fridge. I'm going to cover it and let it sit until the cakes are ready to come out. Uh, and we've got them out of the trays and let them have cooled and whatnot. So we'll be back. We actually went 20 minutes and I was using a toothpick test uh, to stick it down in. To make sure it came out clean. 15, it was still a little bit uh, wet in the middle. We're going to take them out, leave them in pan, and we'll let them cool as is in pan for about 10 minutes, and then we'll move them to the racks uh, to cool the rest of the way. All right, so it's cooled down, and I've gone ahead and, as you can see, cut the top off of this one. If you're wondering why, it's so that I can level when I put this one on. So first things first, I'm going to take some of this frosting that we made and just put a little layer in here. This is going to help Stick my tear together. Now the reason that I level that is again, this is the flat side from the pan. This will sit nice and evenly and won't make for a lopsided cake. Now what to do? So as a finishing touch, I got a couple of extra mandarin oranges that I'm just going to make kind of a little star uh, pinwheel, if you will. Well, as you can see, I've gone ahead and cut out a nice little slice. Um, that really is all there is to it. You know the drill. Tell me what alterations you make. Uh, otherwise, subscribe, share, like. Give me those comments down below. Check back for the next video. And as always, take care.